Hello and welcome. I want to teach you chemistry practical alternative B. Many things we observed when students did alternative A. And actually, what many teachers thought would be given to the teachers was not what I gave them. So there is no, no certainty. Many other teachers made mistakes, did some wrong expectations on this is how the questions would be. But now I want to guide you properly. Many students made mistakes during the examination hall. Look at something like this. I saw, please avoid these mistakes. I saw, look at, test, observation, then inference. Is this correct? Is this correct? What is wrong about this? If this is wrong, what is wrong? The, the only thing that is wrong here is that you have to write this in block letters. That's what we call capital letters. Test, observation. Then what? Inference. This is just the first thing. Alright. Test, observation, inference. Now look at another thing I observed. Another thing I observed. Look at how many students drew the table. Look at this. They drew it test like this. Test. They wrote it like this. Test. Observation. Then inference. This, see, there is no proper planning. See the space from here to here for test. Observation, small. Inference, B. So under normal circumstance, what you are supposed to do is that your test should be small, observation should be more. Because you, are, you have a lot to write under observation. So the first thing we check is how did the students prepare the table. So the manner or the way the students drew this table is the first thing that makes us to know that ah, this person knows it or this person does not know it. I hope you can understand that. So do not draw your table like this. Draw the table like this. If you're a teacher, please teach the students how to prepare the table. We have seen a lot. Please, let students learn how to draw this table. Don't just assume they know it. Don't just assume that as you draw it on the body, we're able to draw it and uh, they will draw it the same way you draw it. No. Check their books as you are preparing them. This is very, very important. Now, another thing I observed, look at this. Just giving you my observations. So that at the end of the day, you as a student, you will do well, or you as a teacher, you prepare your students very well to do well in this exam. So let's take our test like this. Now, another thing I observed, what, look at this. Why students we are recording their observations? Now, um, uh, salt plus water salt plus water a colorless colorless solution a colorless solution now you say uh, 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 a soluble salt okay let me uh, it says b is a soluble salt this is an instance anyway b is a okay c is a soluble salt it's a soluble salt now look at the next thing then this thing, this plus HCl. Look at what I saw. It's supposed to be dilute. You put dilute. So don't just write hydrochloric acid. Write it because it can be concentrated or dilute. So write, it's better to write it dilute HCl. Don't just write HCl. Don't just write the acid. Some You, know, you, you may also have NO3 or H2SO4. Please. You see that it is dilute or concentrated. So Specify this matters a lot because that is the test. What a dilute acid, dilute HCl does, cannot be as much as what a concentrated HCl can do. I hope you can get that. Let me give you an instance. In an experiment, let me write it here. In an experiment, when I gave students this practical to perform, sugar, they brought some sugar, they put it in a beaker, I asked them to add concentrated concentrated tetra also surfaces acid to this sugar simple sugar that is here what i discovered after when they performed the experiment i came back i did not see what i expected to see i discovered that instead of using concentrated tetra surfaces acid they used dilute h2so4 which did not give them the expected result. 
But if they had used concentrated tetrosophysis acid, this sugar here will turn black. Can you see it now? So you must be sure, you must, you must be careful. When you are given to use concentrated acid or concentrated alkali, do it like that. Don't just assume. So that is why it's necessary to write the concentrate. Is it dilute or concentrated? Please, teacher, tell your students this thing. Tell them it is very important. Now, what I also observe is that now something like this. When they plus, okay, let me just put it like this. I want to just use this as a table. Plus dilute HCl, um, a, a, a white precipitate. A white, I'm just using this as an insta instance, a white precipitate, right? So now, what I observed again, now it says, let me see, uh, uh, observation, CO, I'm just using this as an observation, CO32 minus, uh, uh, suspected, yes, I saw something like this, suspected, please, don't use suspected, don't use suspected, it's better to write what, present, present, then when you perform confirmatory test, if it is a CO2 from CO32 minus, or you can this one can be CO2 from CO32 minus present, then CO32 minus confirmed, something like this. You can now write confirmed. So it's, it's better it is present. It's either it's present or not. So if it is present, you now carry out the confirmatory test. This one is confirmed. Now look at another thing I observe. When now it says watch because something like this can be in drops a white precipitate now dilute acl in drops this is the answer then in excess students still you know when you have in excess what you are going to have here is another uh, observation so now you can say for example you can say precipitate dissolves or precipitate does not dissolve, it can be, but I'm just using this as, as an instance. I cannot remember the exact questions now. So, in excess, precipitate dissolves. Look at what I observed. This is the way it is supposed to be written. Because what happens in drops is a white precipitate. It's not the same as what happens in excess. Now, look at what this. Look at how soon it's recorded it. Instead of entering this in excess in this same line, they entered it here. Precipitate dissolves look at this is wrong you are not you know this is this, this is this, this is a book this is a, this, are, this these are the lines of the book let me put it like this see the lines see the lines now look at this and even here you are supposed to have something like you are supposed to have this is another thing you are supposed to have something like the number i will, I will draw the right one i'll give you the right one you are supposed to have something like a here i i i b to a Number them. You are supposed to have the number in here, but I'm just giving you what is what I observe. So in essence, this precipitate dissolves is not supposed to be here. This is a qualitative analysis. It's supposed to be here. Precipitate dissolves, and your observation, your inference should not should also be in line with this. Hope you can understand that. That is how this one works. So please, I will not want you to make the mistake that many other students made in preparing tables. So now, um, in, other, in other ways, most of the time, students find it difficult to differentiate use of sodium hydroxide and what ammonia solution does. These two, they don't do the same thing. Please. And this is another thing I observed. They were writing the same thing that about sodium hydroxide and ammonia solution. You cannot do something like this. This is what many students keep doing and doing and doing all the time. So let this year be the year that students will get it better. Alternative practical chemistry. Uh, chemistry uh, practical alternative B should be done better than alternative A. Because so many people have, uh, have uh, done alternative A and that gives students an insight. Sometimes some students would ask how was it, what and what, how were the questions. But I want to tell you that the questions are never the same. But you may be given the same specimens. But the questions will change. They cannot be the same. But they will be similar. They will be similar. Similar in the sense that it's still the same. You may be, what you will start with in a, in alternative A may not be what you start with in alternative B. In fact, all the reagents given to you in that specimen paper in the white paper may not be the same as what you are going to apply. 
hope you can understand that. So you have all the, all, all the chemicals. These are the chemicals. In alternative A, they may decide to use 3 out of 5. In alternative B, they may decide to use 4 out of 5. So they are not the same. Don't think they are the same and you are preparing yourself. Uh, uh, the way alternative A was, it's going to be the same way alternative B uh, will be. Please avoid that. So in our next class, I'm going to bring to your knowledge what you need to know so that at least you have a very good score. We'll look at the volumetric analysis, that titration, the calculations that are there. We'll also look at the qualitative analysis, that is this. And look at this, I want, to, I want you to see this. Look at this. How possible? Let me give you this example. It says, how can oxygen be prepared in the lab? Explain, look at this part, uh, uh, the number three question. Explain how oxygen can be prepared can be prepared in the laboratory i'm just using this as an instance because this is what happens most of the time this question can you imagine that two three four students would write the same thing because you are now in the laboratory performing practicals and you now see yourself as i'm opportune to write what this person has written and they are writing the press what the person has written word for word how so you two people cannot write the same thing once i'm explaining how it can be prepared in the laboratory using my own words the next person should not use the same words as i do it's wrong so you don't copy something like this you don't copy at all and i would you would see some students writing the same thing Whenever something like this is observed, forget about the result, you are feeling the practical. How oxygen or how you can, how, what happens when uh, hydrogen, uh, when uh, an acid is added to hydrogen. Yeah? Hydrogen. An, an acid is added to a metal, rather, sorry. Metal, when you add a, an acid to metal, what happens? Uh, you see students, two or more students, writing exactly the same thing, using the same word. Explain. And you know that it is conditional. It depends on the position of the meta in the activity series. So please, be very, very careful. I would like you to make good results. Mr. Primus wishes you good luck. Alternative B shall be better than alternative A.